Alright, hello again everybody. Today I am going to be ripping open three blaster boxes of the Topps Chrome Platinum Edition 2021 baseball cards. Each of these blaster boxes, uh, they're going to contain the 1952 design. You're going to have four exclusive Prism Refractor parallel cards in each box. The fairly small, uh, small rip. Each box only has 36 cards. If you haven't seen these cards yet, they are fairly nice looking cards. Again, they're all the chrome, and Topps Chrome is probably one of my favorite uh, favorite types of cards. Here on the back, you can see all of your odds. I'm going to pause that, screenshot it, do what you need to do to check out those odds. Yeah, I'm going to do uh, three boxes. I actually have not personally ripped open any of the blaster boxes. Um, I was kind of surprised to see when uh, I'd stop by my local Walmart to see what they might be having at the time. And uh, I was kind of surprised. I didn't even realize they were coming out with these. I've already opened... Uh, I've already opened the uh, hobby boxes as you can see uh, these ones are actually blue in the hobby box and the hobby light those ones are red so in your odds once again on the pack itself so Go ahead and get into it, and we'll see what we can find on these. Do a, I guess other people would call a super rip. And all of them opened up at once. And go through them. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Wonderful evening. Today's Sunday for me, and uh, you can adjust that a little quick. Today's Sunday for me. Kind of gloomy outside today, a little overcast. Had some rain last night, and then there's going to be our first numbered card. So, this kind of seems fitting that I stay inside and relax for a little while. Open up some baseball cards. Now I'll probably only keep maybe fifteen or twenty cards out of this whole this whole rip today. Everything else is going to be going into packs for for kids and for uh, some mystery packs that I put together. All right. Let's trash out of the way. And we'll see what we've got going on here. Start out with a good looking Jorge Onya rookie card. Nick Solak. Nino Slaughter. Now this collection here is absolutely huge. There are 700 in the base set. So you'll uh, be able to get a lot of different cards. There's our first refractor there. Ricky Henderson. Those are not numbered, though. It's just a, just a refractor. Let's see a blue refractor coming up. Oh, looky there. I did not look to see what my odds are on pulling an auto out of this. But a 56 out of 70 auto of Will Smith. Now you can tell the big difference with the black and the blue. That is absolutely fabulous. I am going to get that sleeved up in, in a one touch. And then we got the blue. Now, as great as these things look, sometimes they. They tend to stick together a little bit. And that Anthony Rizzo, so a 
auto numbered and then a Anthony Rizzo numbered out of 199. Or wouldn't that be something if I could pull some really amazing stuff out of each of these? I really want to see a Steve Carlton in one of these throwbacks in his Cardinal uniform. Robin Roberts, again, not numbered. I want to get this one down a little bit. Put my numbered there. Pino, Spreadick. A few young, young rookies. Yeah. I'm definitely uh, one of those guys that really likes my, really likes my rookies. Again, the blue, not numbered. Um, I'm gonna just put that one with that one because those aren't numbered either. Yeah, I really like my rookies and my prospects. Um, all right, well, this first case did not disappoint. Greg Biggio, I want to see a, a card come out like they did uh, back in the early 90s with uh, Ken Griffey Jr. and Ken Griffey together. You know, they... Uh, They did a father-son card since they now granted I understand they they overlapped briefly but how cool would it be if you could get a card with uh, Bo Bichette and Dante Bichette and Vlad Guerrero Vlad Guerrero Jr. you know Kevin Biggio Craig Biggio yeah. that would be a uh, Really something special in my opinion. Especially when you got some of these throwbacks that we're, that we're working on. All right. Ready to rip out our second one here. Super rip these again. Go ahead and like and leave me some comments. This is uh, still such a, a new experience for me, trying to make videos of what I'm doing. Um, it's just, I'm not doing this to try and make this a uh, hundred thousand or a million subscriber kind of thing. I'm just trying to do this to, to have fun and just share my experience and my love of of doing this with everybody else uh, so i don't i don't have all the audio video all the special apps for overlapping audio uh, yeah i think the, the only thing i've really done is i bought an extra light uh, i did order a, a stand I just do this in my phone. I don't, I'm not going to go out and buy a real expensive camera to do something like this since it's, since it's just for fun for me and hopefully everybody else gets some fun out of it. Not to say that, you know, somewhere down the line I won't, won't upgrade some stuff, but as of right now, I'm just, just trying to have fun and, and continue, continue to enjoy this hobby. All right, Let's start out with Hunter Dozier, Manny Machado. I still think Manny has got uh, got a good chance at getting in the Hall of Fame later on. Better tech. All right, there's our first refractor here. These ones are obviously are not numbered either. This one, Cole Hamels. I haven't seen that picture of Cole Hamels like that before. Ewan Diaz. E. Brian Hayes, rookie. Now if you're wondering, these cards released so late. So that's why... That's why these rookie cards are out there like that still. Uh, they're, uh, 
basically a year behind Cardinal fan. I got to appreciate appreciate my Nolan Arenado. Boy, you can really tell in this picture his eye colors are different. That really sticks out well for Max Scherzer coming back here. Going to be uh, dominating for the Mets again, I'm sure. A good old Tony La Russa in his Cardinal uniform. That's something else. Another uh, Eli Paredes rookie refractor. Joey Bart. You know, I'm not sure Joey Bart was fully ready to take over for Buster Posey. But, uh, I really like Buster Posey. So hopefully Joey Bart will be able to come around and, and uh, really start picking things up. Chadwick Trump, DJ LeMahieu, Luke Weaver, and Jordan Wings. I just want to make sure I didn't miss any numbers on any of these. And I'm definitely going to go back through again also to uh, make sure I didn't miss that autograph. <laughs> It'd be something special if I was able to pull a second or even a third auto out of these things no blue so far all right so that's our second one still uh overall not bad and i will say these are a little bit more expensive than your regular blaster boxes. Um, these are, I believe it was 55 or $60 at Walmart. So they are a little more expensive, but I think with those two, especially with that Will Smith Auto, I have to look on eBay at some point and see what see what those might be going for if anybody's already got it listed but uh, obviously that's uh, so far that's definitely the, the best card in the bunch here and I would say Anthony Rizzo if he can produce really well up in New York um, he might play himself into an opportunity of Getting some Hall of Fame consideration. Packs not sealed very well. What's going on here? I'm just gonna take a break. Well, that'd be why. Got ourselves a numbered card there. very well interesting I'm not used to these uh, not being sealed very well like this uh, looks like I got something else there let's see what that David Wright one actually is I don't know why these were it was sealed, but it uh, definitely was not sealed all the way, making it very, very easy to rip open. All right. We got our third and final blaster of these 2021 Chrome Platinum Editions have in store for us. Good old Bob Gibson. Mm. Yeah, the, fortunately, Bob passed away before he could have even had a chance to, to autograph something like this. Yeah, all right, so there's our, our Chris Paddock. I like that refractor. It's 64 out of 70.
more. Here's the base Anthony Rizzo. Jim Rice. Jim Tom. Stan the Man. A refractor of my little favorite Cardinals. Tommy John, the man himself. Yep, and that was a autograph David Wright. This one, unfortunately, is not numbered. But how about that? I got two autos out of the blasters. And that one's just a regular refractor. Dave Ray, another Tony, Tony La Russa. What's up with that? I mean, I could understand if they did one in like his A's uniform, one of those Cardinals uniform, but I don't know. I need to spread those out a bit. <laughs> well, folks, that's going to do it for this, uh, this video. Tell me what you think about the cards, about the, the blasters themselves. And, and, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I like this set so far. Like I said, I've gotten into some other breaks and I've done, uh, the hobby box. I have not personally ripped any of the hobby lights. Uh, the hobby box itself has the guaranteed auto and I pulled a Raphael for call numbered out of 199 in, in my hobby box that I pulled. But uh, this right here for the money, I spent about the same amount and I got two autographs. So I don't know if that's going to that's gonna be typical. But I'm going to have to dig into those odds and see what those odds are again for, for getting a auto out of this. Let's see if I can see on here. Diamond autograph parallels. One in 276. Autograph one in 57. So... Yeah, I guess I uh, I hit this just right, apparently. Really like that. So, awesome. Well, folks, again, thanks for taking the time watching this all the way to the end. I hope you got a good idea of what you can expect out of these Topps Chrome 2021 Platinum Edition Blaster Boxes. Uh, again, I found this one at Walmart and... Or I can't remember if it was 55 or 60, but uh, yeah, decent price for, I think I hopefully got my return out of this. I'm just going to have to go and find out what these cards are going for now. Thanks again, everybody, and have a great rest of your day. Till next time. Bye.